Can't we stop these bloody memoirs? Well, memoirs, alas, are an occupational hazard. It's betrayal that upsets me. Mm -hmm. Until I'd read the first seven chapters of his book, I thought he was a friend. He says some shocking things about oh. me. Such as? Well, he calls me two-faced. That was very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you admit he was wrong. Yes, indeed. Cheers. Unforgivably indiscreet. <laughs> oh, and wrong. How can he tell such lies about me? What lies? Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> What's in it for him? Bestseller? No, it's not that. He lies not because it's in his interest, but because it's in his nature. He's treacherous, malevolent, and vile. <laughs> if he thinks he's going to get any more honours or quangos or royal commissions, he's got another thing coming. He's not getting one ounce more recognition while I'm here. Uh, yes. Look, is this important because... Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> he was dead on arrival. <laughs> I see. Thanks. Bad news, brother? Yes and no. Your predecessor, the previous Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, has just died of a heart attack. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> he was a great man. Great, great man. man. He'll be sorely missed. Sorely, sorely missed. missed. <laughs> so will his memoirs. Which will never be finished. Alas. Alas. <laughs> uh, apparently, just before the end, he expressed a hope that he might have a state funeral. But in view of your wish to pay him no further honours... Oh, no, 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 Baron. No, you must have misunderstood me. I'm sure a tremendous number of people will want to attend his funeral. To pay tribute to a great Prime Minister. Yeah. And to make sure he's dead. 